Hi, welcome to AmbleSmith.com. Today, uh, we, we got a box about a, a couple weeks ago. We're just now able to get around to really producing a video on it. And what we got is a box from Precision Accuracy Company. And what they sent us is two tools. They sent us their consistent crimp. And they sent us a barrel thermometer. Let's go ahead and take a look at them both. We'll go with the consistent crimp first. What the consistent crimp is, is a, is a torque arm that replaces or works in adjacent to the um, arm on your loading press. And you set the torque on it in order to apply crimp. But we're going to take it a little bit further than that. Uh, we're not only going to work with crimp on jacketed rifle bullets. We're going to also work on it with cast bullets, see how it affects cast bullets and accuracy. But also, we want to take it to another level. We want to try this with bullet swedging with the um, CH4D dies. Not so much for coarse seating, but more for point forming. Sometimes there's little inconsistencies um, here or there, and you want to know when you're over torquing your um, your point forming operation, but we're going to do quite a different, quite a few different experiments with this uh, priming. I can think of quite a few operations that this arm will be very good for. What I want to do right now is get a close up of this, so you can see um, you see the graduation on here. This is just like a torque wrench you would use on a car, but it's been modified in such a way that you can use it on your reloading press. It's kind of nice. And what we're going to do, once we get this set up, is it's really designed for the Lee factory crimp die because it's a collet type of um, crimp system. And we're also going to try this, not only, like I said, with swaging, but we're going to try this with um, priming. And I want to try this also with the Lee neck sizing dies. They're called it neck sizer. I think this would be very good to determine how much torque you're putting on or how much uh, pressure you're putting on neck sizing with their particular dies. And we're going to be taking to the range with this, or not with this, but with the ammunition we make. Who knows, we might even take it to the range with this. Uh, we'll make a portable bench. But it's an interesting little tool and I'm anxious to see how it works. The theory is pretty sound, and it's just a matter of putting it into practice. Okay, the other tool they sent us is a barrel thermometer. And a barrel thermometer is a pretty interesting little tool in of itself, because what it allows us to do is take a direct temperature off your rifle barrel or your pistol barrel while you're testing your handles at the range. That way you can keep your barrel at a consistent temperature, so you know what range your ammunition has been tested at on your ambient temperature outside. Also, the barrel temperature once you get the, the weapon warmed up. It's real simple. Just push the button to turn it on. Point at the object. It just has a little eye right here in order to uh, detect whatever temperature it is that your barrel's at. Also, it's also nice for... Um, testing the temperature of your ammunition before you put it in the chamber. For you long range shooters out there, you know how important that is. So we're going to test that as well. So the weapons we're going to use, we're going to use a, a standard weapon. We're not going to use a high dollar custom rifle. We're just going to use something that anybody would get off the shelf. That way you can see that the improvements in the building of custom ammunition for your own particular needs.